In this recording, I'm going to show you how to get Pluggerman to start debugging an already existing Zen Framework AMF API. You'll need two downloads to get started. The first download is the Zen Framework from Zen's website. For this example, I'm using the Zen Framework 1.10 minimal download. You'll also need the Pluggerman support 1.0 zip file that you can get from the Pluggerman.com website. I've set up a basic Zend AMF API implementation using this My Web Services PHP file. This PHP file is really simple. It has one method named an API method which returns a string. There's six lines of code that you need in order to get uh, the Zend AMF to work. Uh, I'm not counting the debug lines at the top of the gateway. This gateway is just, you can name it whatever you want. I just named it gateway.php for people that are coming from libraries like amfphp to have a familiar element. The first two lines turn on debugging, so if in the case of an error, you get some output on in the browser. First step is you set up the include path for the Zen framework. For this example, I've put the Zen framework in the public group. The second step is to require the Zen AMF server PHP file, which is the Zen framework class for supporting AMF. Third step is starting an instance of the Zen AMF server class. And then the fourth step is to start to require PHP classes that you want to expose using Zend AMF. For this example, we have only one require for mywebservices.php. The fifth step is to register that class with the Zend AMF server object using the setClass method. You'll have multiple calls to setClass uh, if you have multiple classes that you want to expose, and there's also ways of adding directories. In the sixth step and final step you handle the request to Zend AMF and uh, echoes the response to the flash client. So it's six simple steps to get Zend AMF working. Now to get this working with Pluggerman there's an additional three lines of code that you need to do and along with using some of the files in the Pluggerman support zip. So let's go in the Pluggerman support zip and in here you'll find there's two uh, packages, one for AS3 and one for PHP. You'll only be using the AS3 folder if you're using some more advanced uh, debugging features, which is which I'll get into in a different video, that have to do primarily with AM, uh, AMF APIs that are strong typed. In this example, we'll go into the PHP folder and then into the Zend AMF folder. And then here there is a browser folder with the Zend AMF service browser PHP file, which is what Pluggerman needs in order to connect into your existing Zend AMF API in order to provide the or in order to get the information that is needed to debug your gateway. So I'll copy this browser folder and I'll go into my Zend implementation. And in the services folder, I'll paste the browser folder. And now in this gateway with Pluggerman, it's, this file is a duplicate of this basic implementation here with the three additional lines. The first line is requiring the Zend AMF service browser.php class, which is in the browser folder. The second line is making a call to the set class method on the Zend AMF server object so that you can register this Zend AMF service browser with the uh, with with your gateway. This will allow Pluggerman to get the information that it needs to debug your gateway. And the third line is making a call to set AMF server so that Zend AMF service browser is able to make the operations that it needs to make in order to start debugging your class. Once you've added these three lines, 
your gateway is a is uh, ready to be debugged by Pluggerman. So let's I'll open up that. And once you open up Pluggerman, you'll want to open up uh, adding a new bookmark to Zend AMF framework. And all you need is the URL. Once you save your bookmark, you want to connect the bookmark. And down at the bottom, you'll see that we've connected successfully, so the gateway is working. You'll see the list of classes, my web services. And in there, you'll see the methods, an API method. And then you can invoke the method and see the response. You can see the response either in the output grid, in the mini console at the bottom, or if you have much longer, more ver verbose responses, you can go to the con console view and see uh, all of the return here. So that is debugging Zend AMF with Pluggerman.